welcome to my youtube channel and today i have a very very important guest here with us this is someone that had eight a's in wike and one b in a wike exam and she also had a score of 337 in a jam exam you can imagine how big that is so she's going to be sharing her story with us and i'm going to be asking her a few questions on how she was able to achieve this and the advice that she asked for you guys and the exact principle the exact framework that you guys can follow to have the same score in your jam exam right so what is your name ma i am witness on jacqueline though i can simply be known as jacqueline wow so that basically means i can just call you scholar jacqueline no please jacqueline ah uh, hey jacqueline okay. you dad it's easy work <laughs> yeah. all right so basically the first question is you scored 337 in jam and at 80 in waske exam that's rare actually so how did you stay consistent across both major exams Okay, let me be completely honest. My secondary school life, I didn't have a phone, so I had less distractions. And what I used during to spend my leisure time was more of my books, like maybe I'll pick up my brother's textbook and start reading, or my physics textbook and start reading, or my master's book and I'll just start solving. So this is what I mostly used to spend my time. And then I also like made deals with my parents, which motivated me and encouraged me. And I also set some big goals, though unrealistic as they may be, they were what fostered me to like continue reading, to continue striving harder, and to be very determined to get a high score. Wow, wow, that's so great. Thank you so, so much for answering that question. So I'll be asking you the second question. The second question is basically, can you walk us through your daily study routine during that period, the time that you had 337 in your jam exam? What was your studying routine like? How were you able to cover the jam syllabus? And also for your WAEC exam, how were you able to study all through of those two? It is in WAEC. That's mind-blowing, you know. And one B2. One B2. That's like almost a parallel. So what's your study, your study daily routine or your daily study routine? How was it like as at that time? Okay. Again, let me be honest. I didn't have a study routine. I more or less just read during my leisure time, like the times I know that I'm not busy doing any house chores or I'm just look, noticing that I'm not doing anything that involves books or let me just pick up my book. But in terms of jam, I maybe from time to time, I'll spend two hours going through the past questions. Then maybe any subject, any topic in a particular subject I was having issues scoring, I'll go back to, I'll refer to my test books, study on them to go through the internet to source more information which helped to at least let it really stick in my memory and i was more confident of my jam then in terms of why even subjects like computer civic i was just more or less listening to regular news going through the general knowledge of the day and just continuously open my books from time to time because one thing about this is that you have to be consistent determined and disciplined Wow. That was just it. Wow. So we need to be consistent, determined, and disciplined. That's like CDD. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, one of my subscribers actually asked me to ask this question to the next person I'll be interviewing that. The past questions that you studied during your jam time, did they really come out? Did you really see those questions? And also, did you see them word for word in your jam exam? Okay. English, I would say no. Unless for that year is the literature. But in terms of English, they maybe just brought similar question. Maybe in 1990s, when you're not see it in your recent year, you can't really expect to see 2020 in this year. You maybe see something like 2000, 1990. That's when you really see them. Then for biology, yes, some questions were actually repeated. Physics to chemistry was more or less. But in terms of English, I can assure you that <laughs> it'd be different words. You can even maybe see some in YXF coming in jam. Wow, so you are telling them that for that English, there's no way there. <laughs> All right now. So next question is, which subjects were the toughest for you in jam? It was biology. Biology had different terms for plants, and plants was not really my strong suit in biology because there were different characteristics and features of them. Maybe some were having different filamentation or was it seed, ovulation, just different parts of a flower and... I really had to just go back to my textbook to really refresh my brain on them because they were all confusing and when so many words are similar, so many descriptions are similar, you get confused. Wow, wow, I, I get you. But now I think you should have worked really hard on your biology because you are studying medicine now. Now I know that already, don't worry. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm going through YouTube videos, I'm going through different books, internet, maybe even finding a random book that will have so maybe specific on this so the activity really helps to like simplify it and maybe um 
Poll, which is another AI app, but that's just it. I'm still wow. struggling. Wow, wow, you are still struggling. Someone like you. Yeah. Hey, what would I say? <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So, I want to ask you this next question. The question is that: What resources or materials helped you the most when you were preparing for your jam and why? What resources, materials, or textbooks helped you the most? Oh, uh, for my jam, what would I say? I had resources. Like I would say, I was really li- like I was really limited in what I had because I was like. Do I want to really just spend my money on buying different books? Let me just open my textbooks, really look through, read in between the lines for my jam. Then I also like had I was also going through the internet and I found this jam app that was timing me maybe every two hours it would bring a different set of questions for each year. Um, that was it. it was Jam CBT app. Then I also had the past booklet that I had from English to physics of. Yeah, 2022 to, to, to 1999, 1998. So that's what I really used to study for my jam. Wow, wow. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. So you're encouraging students to use the jam CBT apps, right? All those yes. jam prep apps, right? Yes, they really help. And it helps you, like, give you a real feeling of how the jam atmosphere will be, minus the sounds of people's mouths. Wow. Because on that day, you will really be telling yourself, calm down. I know people are using this mouse, but still... Let it not distract me. Let me just see it as a form of beats. Wow, thank you so, so much. So what can you say to um, people that want to take jam for this year? Because jam exam is already in less than like 16 days now. What can you tell them? Maybe the people that have been studying earlier, the people that have studied, co- covered the syllabus, or the people that are yet to cover the syllabus, what can you tell them that ah, jam is already in 16 days? What will you tell them? Will you tell them that they should be pressured, they should be afraid that jam exam is coming? Or what do you have to say to them? Well, first of all, I'll tell them to still be consistent because anything can happen on that day. Number two is that they should really get adequate sleep because any like you don't know what kind of faults or what kind of experience they may show on that day and your mental IQ, your emotional IQ at that point, if you're not if you are tired, you may feel stressed or you may feel pressured or you may even feel like you have forgotten the whole thing you even read the day before. And also the first and foremost is to put everything in God's hands because God can see you and will also ensure the success of that activity for the day. It's all about being prayerful, being prayerful, because throughout your exam life, you'll notice that you should actually focus on God and be highly prayerful, because anything, you may even be praying to God that even something you did not read, you're able to remember it at that point. Wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for this. Wow. These tips are just the best. So you guys are watching this video. You guys should learn from all of these things, so take your jam exam seriously. So this is the next question before I ask you the last one. So the next question is, how did you avoid distractions, especially with social media and peer pressure when you were preparing for your own jam exam? How did you avoid distractions? Well, like I already said in the beginning, I didn't really have a phone. So I won't say social media was a form of distraction for me. Even with my parents' phone, I mostly used it to more research on what I'm reading. And then in terms of peer pressure, let's just say I was more of a role model as I was, I was tutoring people who had issues with maybe a particular topic. So... I won't really say it affected me, it more or less helped me because I was I was explaining to them, I was also gaining more insight in what I'm reading and it helped me to maybe look further into what I'm studying. So they really helped me more than I would say distracted me. Wow, wow. Thank you so so much. So for the last question is that if you had if you had to give just three golden tips, like if you were to give us just three golden tips for someone that is preparing for the jam exam or waske exam, those three golden tips. What are they going to be from you, from a person that had 337 in jam and is studying medicine and surgery at Lagos State University College of Medicine and also had eight A's in WIAC? You can see that I'm repeating this thing. <laughs> what are the three golden tips you are going to give to us? Like I've said in the beginning, number one, be consistent. Number two, be disciplined. Try and remove every form of distraction that may be in your environment. And number three, be prayerful, be determined. Just be highly prayerful because it really help and prayer helps to clear your mind and keep your mind calm wow 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you so so much this is actually the last question but i feel like i should add an additional question and that question is that after you you saw your jam results you got 337 and you saw what well, the time you saw your jam results 337 the time you saw your work results and you saw you had it is how did you feel like how was it like how was it feeling like for my jam, I was actually happy because at least my scores were in the ni- were 90s until I saw my biology. But my English, I was in a way shocked because I didn't expect the score for that English. 
But my physics, my chemistry, I was impressed with my school and I was happy. My biology, though I knew that if maybe I had studied more, maybe I would have gotten higher, but I was all in all still impressed with my jam. But for my work, when I saw that B, I was just shocked because I didn't really expect to get a B because wow. for my GC, I got A in that subject. So it was wow. just heart trenching. Wow, wow, wow. That means you are you are expecting nine A's. That's A parallel in your work. Yes, I was. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Am I feeling intimidated? <laughs> I don't say, but it's a good thing. I, I actually feel so like I feel so glad and I feel so happy for you. Actually, at the same time, so how does it feel like to be studying medicine and surgery? Like, what was that your dream course? Yes, medicine and surgery my dream course. As I've always wanted to like be someone maybe who discovers something and be renowned. So, yeah, I'm happy that I was able to get admission into last to study medicine and surgery. Wow, thank you so much. So, what are you going to say to that person watching this video now? That medicine and surgery aspirant. What are you going to tell the person? The person that wants to take jam exam, or the person that is taking the jam exam in the next sixteen days now that wants to study medicine and surgery. What do you have to tell that person? Or anybody that wants to study a medical related course or anything? What's your advice? Well, I'm sending my regards to you, and also do do, do well to study hard because medicine is a course that you really have to study and know how to balance your private and social life. Wow. Wow. Thank you so, so much. So, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your time. Like, it's an opportunity having someone like you, like a scholar like you, here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm so glad and I'm so, I'm, it's a privilege. Thank you so, so much. So, that's it, guys. I want you guys to take all of this advice or, yes, all of this advice into consideration and put all of these things to work. Take action. Start studying. Don't feel down because now is the right time. And it's not too late for you. You can still start preparing and still have that good score in your jam exam. Don't feel pressured. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.